Good day and welcome back to Sam's Watch Review. This is the Casio LF20W, one of the newest models from Casio, a revival of the classic twin graph. I know there are already many reviews of this watch, so I will present you from a slightly different point of view. In a nutshell, this watch is a close relative of the AE1200 in a slimmer body. It has the same program, menu and functions like world time, 5 alarms and countdown timer. It even has the same demo mode. Looking at the display, the main difference is that it's missing the world map for world time. However, it gets the digital progressive dial for the second on the right side. Another thing is that it has smaller numbers for the hour, minute and second, even compared to the F91W. But on the other hand, it has a larger analog style graphic on the top left, which I think is one of the main features on this watch. Like its close relatives, the AE1200, this part of the display shows the current time of the home city in any mode, even in world time mode. With its slim size, this watch doesn't have a 100 meter water resistance, but only water resistance to about 30 meters. It also uses a smaller battery capacity, so not a CR2025 with 10 year lifetime, but a CR1616 with a 3 year rating. Another thing to note is that it only has one backlight on the bottom left, instead of two like on the AE1200. However, it has the same afterglow feature which can be selected for 1.5 seconds or 3 seconds. The case is roughly half the volume and weight of the AE1200, it's only 37.8mm long, 33.7mm wide and 8.6mm thick and only weighs 23 grams, very close to the F91W. Another difference is that this watch uses 16mm slugs instead of the more usual 18mm and the straps also have a simpler style. With its light and slim case, this watch is comfortable to wear. It's like having an F91W but with added super features. It really brings the things that Casio mentioned on their website about this watch, versatility, compact and practical. And one more thing to add, the strap is made from bio-based resin, renewable material which is appealing from an environmental awareness perspective. And now straight for the pros and cons, on the good side, it looks very cool with a retro vibe and fresh modern color options. As a note, there are currently 5 colors available and this one is variant 3 ADF. Number 2, it is very comfortable with a slim profile. And then number 3, it is loaded with all the function that you will get from AE1200. 4 times, 5 alarms, countdown timer, and world time. And then it has an analog style display that shows the current time on any mode. Although in my opinion, the segments are a bit thin. And then the last one, it used the bio-based resin material for the strap. And that is a very good idea. On the other side, there are also things to consider. It is only water resistant, so about 30 meters, and has a 3 year battery rating. And then the numbers are smaller compared to the AE1200 and also F91W. And the backlight is less pleasing compared to AE1200, but still acceptable. Number 3, it is also a bit small, so I would not recommend this watch for larger wrist sizes. The strap will fit on wrist from 125 until 200 mm instead of 145 up to 215 mm like the AE1200. And then it's also a bit pricier than AE1200 or AE1000 which have the same functions and longer lasting battery and also 100 meter water resistance. And then the last one, the strap is not as common as the AE1200 strap so it may be difficult to find replacement when needed. Another thing I noticed about this watch is that it has more contrast at certain angles, but not perpendicular. My guess is that Casio intentionally put the polarizer angle in a way that it will increase legibility at viewing angle of about 30 up to 45 degrees. And now for the conclusion, 
If you're looking for a fresh, stylish, comfortable, and also environmentally friendly watch that packs lots of features, then get this one, LF20W. But if you want better water resistance, battery life, a larger or medium size, or something more as a daily beater, then I would suggest you check out the AE1200 or AE1000. Overall, it's a great watch, but however, it's not a one-size-fits-all. And I hope that this review helps you to clearly get the image. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next video. Have a great day.